Hey everyone, I'm your host Neeraj Agrawal and in this video I will explain you the concept of round robin lead assignment with the help of Pabli Connect. Lot of time it happens that you might be getting leads from any specific place and whenever you get those leads you basically want to get to send those leads in a round robin fashion to different agents that you have. For example, let's imagine you are getting leads all day and you are getting those leads from different places. Like for example, you might be getting the leads from Facebook lead ad or you might be running a Google lead ad or you might be having a contact form or a lead generation form on your website through which you might be getting some new leads every once in a while. On the other hand, you actually have three support uh, agents or you might say you might have three sales agents and you actually want the first lead to be sent to agent number one then you want the second lead to be sent to agent number two and then you want the third lead to be sent to agent number three and because you have three agents the next lead the fourth lead will be sent back again to the agent number one because you already have just three agents at your end but there are countless leads that are coming in all day so in this specific video i will be showing you the very same use case how you can define and create a round robin a lead assignment with the help of Pabli Connect. So to start with this video, what I have done is I have actually went ahead and I have already created a lead generation form with the help of Pabli Form Builder. Now I have created this form with the help of Pabli Form Builder, but you can basically create this form through any form solution that you are using right now. It might be Jot form, it might be paper form, or it might be any form solution that you might be using right now. In my case, I have created a form which looks something like this. It says interested to purchase. Please fill the form below and one of our agent will get in touch with you. Then you are asking for the lead to enter his first name, last name, contact number and the email address. On the other hand, what I have done is I have created a Google sheet and I have created this Google sheet as an example, okay, of round, round robin, but you can effectively send you can effectively even send emails to those leads in real time with the help of Pabli Connect. But just for an example, what I have done is I have created three sheets inside a single spreadsheet right here. The name of the sheet is round robin assignment of leads. And you can see the sheet name right here, which says agent one Rosh, agent two John and agent three Peter. Now what we really want to do is whenever this form is submitted, the first submission needs to go to agent one, the second submission needs to go to agent two and the third submission needs to go to agent three. And in this video, I will be telling you how you can build the very same scenario with the help of Pabli Connect. Now I will just start building the workflow right here itself. So I have already logged in inside my Pabli Connect account. If you already have Pabli Connect, you can log in into your Pabli Connect account. If you don't have the Pabli Connect account, you can go to pabli.com and choose the application as connect and then you can uh, just click on login to login into this application. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a workflow. Okay. And the name of this workflow is round robin lead assignment. Okay. I've given the name of the workflow as round robin lead assignment and I'm just going to click this button as create. Okay. This means we are going to create our first workflow with the help of Pabli Connect. Now the first step is choose a trigger. Now because we have created this form with the help of Pabli Form Builder, let me just zoom in a little bit more. So since I have created this form with the help of Pabli Form Builder, what I will do is I will choose the app as Pabli Form Builder because effectively we want to get data. First of all, we want to get the leads data which is being submitted through this very same form. Okay. And we want that data inside Pabli Connect because once the data is inside Pabli Connect, then only you can send that data to any other place that you really want. So I have selected the application name as Pabli Form Builder and the trigger event is going to be new form submission. Okay. Because we want to get the data as soon as the form is submitted. Now you can see and read the instruction right here to see how you can connect Pabli Form Builder with Pabli Connect. But in this specific video, because I already know the step, I will just copy this URL and this is a webhook URL. I will just copy this webhook URL and I will click this capture webhook response button right here. Webhook is actually a way 
to get data from an external software inside Pabli Connect. Okay, so webhook, we just use the URL and we paste it inside an external software so that as soon as an event happens inside that external software, it is being sent back to Pabli Connect in real time. So we are inside our dashboard of Pabli form builder and you can see forms.pabli.com. We will move to integrations and inside integration, we will choose this webhooks option right here and I will click on add webhook and I will just paste this entire webhook data right here, the URL right here and I will just click on save. You can see it is active and it is already added to my form. Okay. Now what I will do is I will just refresh this form once and I will send the first lead data through this very same form. So I will enter the name, I will enter the contact number and I will enter my email. Okay. And I will do the submission of this specific form. So I will just click on submit button right here. As soon as I do that, Pabli Connect will basically capture the entire response that is being sent through this very same form. And you can see it has already captured the data. You can see the form ID, the ticket ID, ticket ID is like a submission ID, the IP address through which the submission is made, the submission date, referrer, first name, last name, contact number and email address. Now what we really want to do is we want to implement a round robin. Okay. Otherwise what would I, what I would have done is I will just have clicked this plus button. I would have such selected Google sheets. Okay. And I would have sent this data straight to Google sheet in real time. Okay. But in this specific case, what we essentially want to do is we also want to apply a round robin. So in this choose app, I will choose the name of the app as number formatter. And I will choose the action event as a counter. Okay. Because counter is something which basically does the round robin. What it does is it gives the value as one, then the next value as two, then the next value as three, and then it round robins back to the final value, which is again one, two, three, depending upon the number of agents that you have. So we will choose the application as number formatter, the action event as counter, and then we will just click on connect with number formatter. Okay. So it comes with certain value that you need to fill. So it is asking us for the initial value. Okay. So I'm just going to enter the initial value as one because we want to start our counter from one. The operation is going to be increment and the change is going to be by one. So every time the workflow runs, it is going to increment the value by one. So the first time the workflow runs, it will increment the value by one and it will become two. The final value will become two. Next time if the workflow runs, the final value will become three. Next time the workflow runs, the final value will become four. Next time the workflow runs, the final value will become five. But we really do not want to make it continue go in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six order. We actually want to do the round robin as well. So we actually have this option which says reset counter after reaching certain final value. So because we have three agent, we actually want to reset the entire counter back to the initial value, which is one, once the counter reaches three. So now what it will have do is it will take the value as one. Next time it will take the value as two. Next time it will take the value as three. But after reaching three, it will again reset back to one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That is your round robin right there. Okay. So just to test the very same thing, I will just click on save and send test request. In the meantime, there is one more option which says reset on each workflow execution. I've chosen this option as no, but if you really want to reset the value to the initial value, every time the workflow executes, you can choose this as yes. But because I do not want to do that, I will just essentially keep it at default, which is no. Now I will just click on save and send a test request. Okay. And you can see the final value right here is two because the value was initial value was one. It has been incremented by one and the final value is going to be two. Now I will just go and do the save and send test request again, just so you can get this idea. The final value is three now. Now I will run the entire workflow again. In fact, I'm just going to reset and re uh, fire this request again and you will understand what I'm trying to do. So final value is three. Next time the final value is one. Again, let me just show you again. Two, the final value is three. 
and then the right final value is one again. So you can see it is basically looping around one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So this means our round robin counter is pretty much completed right here. So if you want, you can basically minimize this step, but I will just continue adding few more steps so that you can see the round robin assignment uh, in perfection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on plus button right here now. And inside this choose app, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a router now. Router is more of a if condition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the final value is going to be one, I want to add the lead data inside this Google sheet inside agent one Roche. If the final value is going to be two, I want to send the data to this agent two John. If the final value is going to be three, I want to send data to agent three Peter. Okay, so I'm just going to select the app name as router. Router is more of a if condition where you can say I want to do this step if this condition is met. Okay, so basically you can see we actually have one, two, and in fact, I will add one more router, but let me just uh, create these two routers first and then I will add another router. So this is route one and this is route two. You can see it contains zero step. It also contains zero step. Okay. Now I'll just click on settings. I will say, okay, this is my number formatter counter. I will say if the final value, you can see final underscore value is equal to one. If the final value is equal to one, then only I want this route one to continue. Okay, so I will just click on save and send test request and it, it says this specific condition is met because really the final value is one right now. So it says if the final value is one and the condition is true, do this. So I'm just going to click on plus. I want to add the data inside Google Sheets and it is very simple. Do not uh, think it is very tough. We are just saying that if the final value is going to be equal to one, uh, do this. If the final value is going to be two, do this. And if the final value is going to be three, do something else. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the app name as Google sheet and the action name will be add new row because essentially we want to add a new row inside our sheet. Now I will just click on connect with Google sheet and I will just click on connect with Google sheet button right here. And I will authorize my account right here itself. Okay. And then I will click on allow. So the authorization is successful. So I will just click on OK. It will just take few seconds and you can see it automatically fetched all the spreadsheet from my account. So in my case, the sheet name will be round robin assignment. So I will just click on the sheet name and I will just type the name and you can see it automatically fetched the spreadsheet name, which was round robin assignment of leads. Okay. So now the right name of the sheet is there. So let me just try it out again, Neeraj and the last name is Agrawal. The contact number is right here. The email address is right here. Okay. I will just save and send a test request again, just to see if everything is working fine. And you can see the data is now added to agent one Ross sheet. So if I go back to Ross sheet, you can see the data is added. Let me just put it on the left alignment. So you can see the first name, last name, the number and the email address is added to agent one Roche sheet. So because everything looks good now, I will just save it. I will click on done. Okay. So you can see route one. Okay. If you want to edit the name of route one, you can just edit it. You can say, uh, agent one assignment. Okay. So agent one assignment. You can change the route name to to agent to assignment, just update it and go back to settings again, select the counter, which is final value. Again, if the final value is equal to two, this time the all already value is one right here. So if you say save and send test request, it will say there is a condition which is false, but do not worry about it. Whenever the condition is going to be true, this specific step will be executed. Okay. So let me just enter Google sheets again add new row, connect with Google sheet. And now since I have already connected one of my Google sheets already credentials, I can select my past saved credentials right here, which happens to be Google sheets 35. 
and I will click on save. I do not have to re-authenticate my request again and again. So it is a spreadsheet, automatically the spreadsheet is selected. The sheet two is going to be John. Okay, so this is the sheet in which we want to add the data and I will just map the very same data again. This data will not be added to the sheet because uh, the final value is one right now, but we can just map everything. And after mapping everything, we can just save the step. Do not worry, it will work. So I will just click on done and you can see agent to assignment is also added and it contains one step. Let me add the third route as well. Let me rename it first. So this is going to be agent three assignment. I'm going to update it. I'm going back to settings uh, quickly going to counter the final value equals three save and send test request. It is going to be false because the value is one right here. Again, going to Google sheet. Okay, going to click on action event, which will be add new row, click on connect with Google sheet. I will select the past credential, which is already saved. I will click on save. I will select the spreadsheet as round robin assignment of lead. And this time I'm going to select the sheet as agent three Peter. Again, name, I'm going to map the name, number, I'm going to map the number. And then I'm just going to map the email address. Okay, everything looks good to me. I will just click on save. I will click on done. So you can see my three steps router is connected and created, which contains a step one, a step uh, agent one, agent two, and agent three. So this workflow is completed. What it will do is it will capture the response from Google, uh, from Pabli form builder. As soon as the response is collected, it will fire a counter. The initial value is one change by one counter will be executed and depending upon the final value, which is either going to be one, two and three, uh, a specific router step will be fired. Now, even though I'm saving the data inside Google sheet in my demo, but you can even send and fire an email or you can perform any other action step, whatever you find will be necessary at your end. Okay. So this workflow here is completed and let me just do some test runs now just to show if everything is working fine. So let me just open up this form. Okay. And this time I'm going to enter another name, which is going to be Pankaj Agrawal. The number is 9926-255-956-965. And this is going to be the email address of the sales lead. And I'm just going to submit it. Okay. And the lead is submitted. It didn't went to agent one. It went to agent two, which is John. Okay. Because the final value might be two on the back end. And let's also see if it went to agent three. No, it didn't went to agent three. Another submission. Let me just submit nine one nine nine two six. Okay. Another submission with the help of uh, the form submit it. Again, the round robin will not go to agent one or agent two. It will now go to agent three. Okay. And because the final value is three now, probably on the back end, we will do another submission now. Okay. So MK at yahoo.com, another submission. Now the robin round robin assignment will be done on sheet number one. Let me just align it a little bit. So you can see MK Agrawal, it is again added to uh, sheet one. Let me just fire it all over again. ABC, ABC, 992646565. <laughs> at gmail.com. Let me just submit it all over again. And you can see the data is now added to agent two. So you can see how round robin works with the help of Pabli Connect and it works perfectly. But again, I think this clears up your questions around how you can do round robin lead assignment with the help of Pabli Connect. Uh, please reach out to my team if you have any questions. The team email is admin at the rate of Thank you for watching this video.